And by the end, stick around, everybody, because Ruben's going to hopefully comment on how it went. Okay. Okay, last right. topic. Yeah, so this is a, a tearjerker. Uh, in, the, in the grain of paying for things and being able to provide a, a gentleman who, his name is Lawan James, not LeBron James, Lawan <laughs> James was a Vine star at one point, but recently bought his parents a new home. Uh, he recorded the event, blindfolded mom and dad, took them to the, to the brand new house and revealed it. And it's just a very emotional uh, moment because growing up, you know, when you have parents and they work so hard and they do what they can, you always say, man, I really wish I could buy my parents a home. And in this case, he actually did it. And it's a, look, the home is like mm, nice, like inside so nice. redone, uh, marble countertops, just a, just a beautiful uh, experience. And you can see right here, the parents, just really emotional. Oh. Cause you work so hard and you know, you just wanna mm -hmm. make sure that your family's comfortable. So yeah. this is a good, a good story. If you have the means to take care of your parents, I know my mom and dad, if I could buy them the house right now and everything that goes in it, I would have done it if I could already. But to see this actually come to fruition, I mean, you think about all the work that goes into buying a home mm -hmm. and for them to have not known mm -hmm. any little detail and to walk down a street with a blindfold on and then be surprised with that, mm -hmm. the magnitude of what that must have felt like for them, how gracious they are for their son. I mean, this whole moment is just inspiring. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know, it's, it doesn't have to be a materialistic thing. Right. We don't know the backstory there, but perhaps it's something, it's something that they always wanted was something different than where, where they were living, but that's all they could afford, mm -hmm. right? You can yeah. imagine that sometimes the story goes that way. Right. And then so to be able to provide for your parents, I mean, that's just what there's this not the nicest thing that you could do to pay them back. Totally. Yeah. And you said earlier, you don't have to buy them a home. You could just give them a call every once in a while. <laughs> I'm telling you, every time I call my parents, they're excited to hear from me. Yeah. How are you doing? How's the wife? How's, how's the kids? Yeah. You know, and unexpected, not birthdays and stuff, just out of the blue. They always appreciate it. It's a small thing, but it means a lot to them. Mm -hmm. I get it now because I'm, I was thinking, well, what if my daughter gets too busy to call me? Oh, Lake you is know, definitely going to be yeah, busy. As I'm taking her to the <laughs> park. She's going to be living her life. Yeah, she's we're doing all these things. She's like, already independent. Busy. She ever forgets all these things we're doing with her right now. <laughs> I will be forever <laughs> devastated. So Remember all the trips we took. <laughs> She'll be like, actually, I don't. And she'll yeah. keep living her life. Yeah, it, 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 it's just a cute moment, especially um, they just took care of everything and all the paperwork. I don't, it's just that's just cute. It is cute. Mm -hmm. If you have a similar story, if you know anybody who's done something just out of the kindness of their heart, share it with us. We like to cover really positive stories over here at ABC 10. Um,